Hi folks, welcome to the channel. This is DoorDash Sucks. It's a Wednesday morning. I hope everyone's doing well. It's uh, it's about quarter of nine in the morning. I've been on, well, before I tell you, <laughs> DoorDash is terrible. I mean, these, these companies are criminal, okay? <laughs> they, uh, like, I tried to get on this morning, you know, even trying to schedule. I couldn't even schedule from yesterday. And long story short, if you wait a little while, a lot of those dashes who sign up sometimes don't come on, so then it opens slots or whatever. I'm surprised they don't let everyone come on all, you know, ev just every minute of the day. But they want top dashes, folks. That's what they want. And you're insane and you're a fool and you're hurting the community if you are a top dasher. If you're listening to this and you're a top dasher, you, you will regret down the road, not now, but down the road, you will regret doing that because you, you're, you're making everyone immune to giving people tips, good ones too. These no tippers and everything, man, I could name, like I said, I could name a million channels here that are like top dashes, but I, we won't go there. But you know who I'm talking about? Uh, different people, you know, let's just say. So, long story short, um, I, uh, on Wednesday mornings, I volunteer at a, at a horse farm because I love horses, you know, they're, they're wonderful creatures and I, they're God's creatures. I love them. So I wait. I waited a long time to be able to just God put it on, just set everything up one day. I it was actually delivering for DoorDash to a person, and I ended up having a conversation. And I saw these horses, and I'm like, "Wow, they're wonderful!" And then next thing you know, the the sister of the of the other sister said, "Hey, let me talk to my sister, see if she'll let you uh, work here or whatever. What you know? What do you do?" And I was like, "I do just about everything." <laughs> You know, basically a ranch hand. So, anyways, so I couldn't, I, I had, to, you know, I'm busy today, I, but I need to work. I need to make money because I'm only volunteering over there. So I do it once a week, four hours a day. But the reason I'm telling you about that is because I tried to come on to DoorDash in the morning thinking, oh, it'll show Dash now or something. Nope, wouldn't do it. <coughs> eventually, <coughs> eventually, it did, but it only gave me till 9.30, and then I went in to extend the dash. So right now, it's like 10 minutes of 9. I'm on my way doing an Uber, which I really don't want to do, but I'm, I am I was going to do two things today. If I couldn't get on to DoorDash until 3, I was going to just do Uber, and I was going to do an experiment taking everything to see if Uber reward you for taking everything or if they still put me in quiet pauses because I don't like for instance the first I took one uber before I'm, this one that I'm going on and I did it it was like 950 for like I think it was four miles but it was a mile to the place so it was ended up being like three miles which was decent uh, 11 uh, nine something whatever and then this one I'm on this one's not a good one this is um, well, it's like 10 or 11 bucks for, for eight miles. And like I said, I was going to do a full experiment on the Uber Eats, but they ended up letting me come on onto DoorDash. But just because you're on DoorDash doesn't mean that it's going to be busy. See, they let, they let all the top dashes come on first because they can just dash anytime they want. That's why when they send you an experiment, like um, a beta test thing saying, oh, uh, for the next two or three weeks, you can, you can dash anytime, anywhere. And I'll tell you, it was awesome when I was able to do that because you could go from zone to zone anywhere you wanted and just like if you were out of a zone, you start a new one. And then if you got back into your other zone, you start another one. And it wasn't like you had to schedule. These scheduling things, folks, these scheduling things, I believe... You know, the algorithm knows who the full-timers are. They know that we're working more than 40 hours a week. So they don't like us. They cater to the top dashes. They cater to, get you know, people who are going to take everything. And it's, it's, it's criminal what's going on. And the fact that they call us independent contractors or they classify us as that, but yet we can't come on when we want, the only thing I'll give to Uber... 
is at least they let you get, you know, come on anytime you want. I mean, you could work all day long. I mean, basically 12 hours ride share. It turns into really like 14 or 16 if you, you know, on the, on the Uber Eats because, you know, sometimes you're pausing or whatever. You know, you're taking breaks. You're not working straight through. No one, no one works straight through. You still have to go to the bathroom and all those other things, right? But anyways, um, I was trying to get to a point here that um, just criminal activity by these companies, though, you know, and the fact that. You know, if the economy was booming, folks, and it wasn't what happened the past two years, you know, with the jabaroo in your arm and all of that, we would have them by the balls because they'd be putting out promotions. They would, I mean, they're not going to be transparent, really, but they, they would be begging for drivers and they'd have to raise base pays and everything else. They just have us at a disadvantage right now. But what they're doing, the practices of what they're doing, the illegal labor pra practices are something that has to be addressed in court. And I'm hoping that in the future when, when we all go to court or whatever, that these, some of these judges are, are uh, going to be on our side. And, I, and I, I say God willingly, I think that that will happen to a point. But if it, you know, a lot of these companies tie up these court cases in higher courts, they continue, to continue it and all this stuff. They make, they make it hard, you know, because anyone can appeal a decision to go to a higher court because they want their judges, the ones they've bought and paid for, to, to make a decision for them and try to overturn what you did to them, you know. But everything, it's like, it's like legalized thievery, just legalized theft theft everywhere you know with all of these companies and that's why i did a video on deliver that because deliver that even though i can't prove what i'm you know what i was saying it's a hunch that you think this what an app company is going to pop up and going to be totally awesome and transparent and everything's great if it was totally awesome they would let you keep your tips it would let you they wouldn't intercept your tips and put them in a tip pool. I mean, duh. And and by the way, Corinthians, you were so right about the communistic um, totalitarian stuff, you know, where, you know, everyone's just mediocre. Everyone wins. Everyone has a reward. No, that's not, it's not good. Because if someone else wrote in the comments saying, well, what if I do more than you? What if I'm a, you know, I do four deliveries more than you, or whatever. I'm I'm supposed to get the same as some guy that's just sitting around doing one, or you know, there's all these different aspects. But you know, that company needs. We need to force them to change that because, again, I'm on I'm on their app, but I won't I won't take a delivery right now because I I, I mean maybe I should try one or two of them eventually, but I'm not going to drive 40 miles away to do it. If it if it comes in my lap one day, like as far as something being close then and then i might try it but knowing i've people have already written in the comments and by the way all you the past couple of days your comments everyone you've been awesome like everyone has just awesome great comments and you know the thing is too i mean obviously i want to be in agreement with everyone if i if i can be because I'm, I'm telling you the truth of the things i'm saying to you but the thing is you know don't feel like if you have something else in your mind or you disagree, say it in the comments. Say, hey, I disagree. I'm not going to, like, ban you from the channel because you disagree with what I say, you know. You have, might have another way of thinking. But uh, what all I can tell you is what's going on generally in trying to bring you facts and opinions and also show you what my area is like and, what, you know, as far as what's going on in my area. But but the funny thing is, when you guys write in the comments about, other you know, where you live, the same exact stuff is happening to you. And that's why when I see these channels posting, I made, oh, this in four hours and two hours, and I made, you know, really? So you, you're in the magic kingdom now? Like, yes, <laughs> like 99% of us don't make what you make, right? So then you got to raise your eyebrows to that and go, uh, what the hell is going on here, you know? <laughs> it's whacked. Okay, folks, this is part two of uh, Wednesday morning dash. Uh, I had to pick up at a Dunkin' Donuts, and 
you know, I, I, I couldn't keep it going. I had to, like, you know, pause it or end it and then go into this. So forgive me. But anyways, part two. Uh, <coughs> on um, Uber Eats, right, or Uber, the platform, <clears throat> uh, question for you guys and gals. Do you notice that the in-app navigation is not working right now? Or maybe I have, maybe the settings changed. I haven't, well, I haven't updated in like a week and a half on this, but it's giving me Google navigation, which is kind of cool because you know what's a pain in the ass about, <laughs> about the Uber navigation is it's almost always wrong on where you're taking something. The, uh, the location's never right. It's, and it, it's a pain in the neck because you can't shut off the, uh, the voice. There's no way to turn off the voice, so it's kind of good in one way. Um, Okay, a, a message just came through. I wanted to talk about that too. Point of pickup, right? Have you noticed anyone who's using point of pickup? You notice that they will send you occasional emails or, or things saying, "Hey, uh, just would like to know uh, if you're in the area, could you go and pick up this order?" Right? That's because there's not a whole lot out where I'm at. I don't think there's a whole lot of point of pickup people, because a lot of times I'll see a lot of these orders just sitting and not doing anything. So that's a good thing because I guess point pickup is not saturated yet because a lot of people don't know about it. Uh, but eventually that, that app will get, all of them will get saturated, folks. But anyways, they send you these things occasionally and they're like, oh, are you in the area? Can you pick something up? And uh, when you're multi-apping, it's hard to do that unless you're really near something and it's going in the same way, uh, same direction, you know? So anyways... Um, I, what was I going to say? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, I was talking about the criminality of these companies and what they're doing and uh, in the aspects of being an independent contractor. How independent can you be when you can't turn on a biz, an app that's supposed to be for your business, right? And make money. And they, and they, like, who the hell are they to force us into what they want us to do? Isn't it funny how, like, they DoorDash, right, has no problem putting uh, trying to get you to go on when they don't have any drivers. Sometimes that happens occasionally. Sorry about the background noise. Someone's doing some lawn care here. But occasionally th there won't be many dashes on in an area, so they'll say they'll send you an email. Hey, uh, it's busy in your area. Do you, would you like to dash now? But then when you go when you want to dash when you want, you can't do it because you they they want you to be a top dasher. They want you to take the top dasher spot. And again, talking about how terrible it is, it's not terrible to the person top dashing because they have no shame. They have no dignity, no respect for themselves. They What they've done is lowered their standards. When they were first starting, they didn't try to become top dasher. They, they, they were realizing, eh, I'm getting screwed, this and that. Then they probably went to cherry picking. But then when they heard all of this stuff about all of these channels promoting top dasher folks, they're only promoting it because they're getting a kickback somewhere down the, the road or they, their situation is good. I mean, they may even have an email that comes to them from DoorDash. Hey, we noticed you have a channel. Could you, uh, we'll give you a couple of thousand a month if you promote us. Just tell everyone that everything's wonderful, you know, something like that. I don't know. Maybe that's what happens. I, I'm just, I'm speculating, you know, on that. But the fact remains is that the top dashes, they're like, well... Their, their, their way of thinking is, well, I'm out here for 8, 10 hours, and I, I'm out here to make money, so I'm bright. But they don't understand. They're hurting the community because the rest of us, they put us in punishment phases, right? Where we can't, like, they pause our dash multiple times during a shift. Like, I have, I have, um, I have a DoorDash in the back, background right now because I'm delivering for Uber. But the thing is, is that they uh, they paused me a couple of times and I didn't hear anything come through. And I'm also out of my zone right now where I'm at on uh, on DoorDash because I had to do this Uber. But I'm trying to, I'm not trying to take everything. I'm just trying to be consistent today because I need to make money today. I'm not out here. We're not out here for fun, folks, right? Some of you guys, some guys and gals, oh, this is fun. How fun is it when you got to pay bills, pay rent, and survive? If you're, like, living it with mommy and daddy, you got it made, 
right? Because you could drive for like eight hours, make $20, and daddy's going to put $100 in the car for you and say, oh, son, keep the $20 and uh, go have fun with your allowance. And that sh that's bad, too, because that's like, it's not reality, you know? But that's what happens. The cool thing is, though, this week coming up, I mean, it's August 31st. A lot of the kids are back to school. College kids go back to school. So they're not. a lot of the people that were around in certain areas are not going to be around. But they're, they're, all of these companies are going to hire a whole lot more dashers in app pe gig app people for all different apps, folks. <laughs> they are, I mean, why do you think you see all of those ads on all of these channels? Oh, would you like to be top dasher? I mean, would you like to make, make some money, blah, 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 and this and that? You know what I mean? It's insane. Oh man, I took the wrong, the wrong street. I gotta go around. Uh, I hate when that happens. I make a mistake on the uh, on the turn. The GPS doesn't always tell you the exact right turn to, to be in. You know. <laughs> okay. Now this is the right turn. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna have to drop off here. So gonna have to uh do a part three so i'll be back in a couple minutes okay folks so this is part three and this is uh well all one video but I, sometimes i have to do these in separate parts folks because it just i can't do it while i'm delivering actually to the customer you know um anyways uh geez the past couple of days been terrible really bad like it's it's unbelievable i i don't know i mean today is like i said august 31st so people who were are going to be on vacation this will be the last full week like in other words if there's some kids that start school on september 5th or, or 6th that's typical on the east coast i don't know how it is with you guys out in the midwest and in the west and whatever but <clears throat> um after the 5th or 6th, everything supposed, supposedly goes back to normal, right? But, again, it's going to be interesting to see. I mean, typically wintertime, fall, wintertime, and, and, and it, that's our time to drive, folks. That's when you can make money. The summers are always slow, but it was exceptionally, exceptionally slow this whole winter. It was terrible. And here's a word to the wise, folks. If we do get through this winter without without any incidences or whatever, as far as things remaining semi-normal, as the, as we say, uh, you better throw back some money, put put back some money uh, for the next summertime. Because let me tell you something: if we even <laughs> are able to to drive during the next summer coming up next year in 2023, there's been massive droughts. Um, food shortages, you name it. And we're living off of 2021's harvest, okay? So a lot of the crops and everything that got killed this year and, and even the, the animals, I mean, you heard about the, look at the food manufacturing plants burning up. You think that that's a coincidence, folks? They're doing that stuff on purpose, by the way. In order to learn about that stuff, if you want to learn more about that, <clears throat> you need to come over to my other channel, Waking Up the Sheep, over on BitChute. You go to the About page here, click on the link that takes you to my channel, Waking Up the Sheep, and you can watch the videos. There's over 795 videos on that channel, folks. And I also, you know, I post regularly on there. Now, I'm not... I'm not in every single video. I'm in a lot of them, and I do narrations occasionally, but I bring other videos that are topics that people need to learn and, and, and know about. So everything is relevant on there, and it is tied in indirectly to this channel because of what's going on in the gig community. But I don't really talk about that. I talk about it more on a, a wider scale and more specific topics over there so if you want to head over there i'd appreciate you checking out the videos you don't even have to sub over there just just check them out and watch them anyways with that said <clears throat> getting back to uh what's going on in the gig community so we all know that the buzz of the top dasher stuff is going around because you got these channels that are promoting it and 
doing top dash it right like you may you may you may make out in the the short term right but in the long term you're going to lose all of us all of us are set up to lose in this gig community i told you before that it's been set up by people behind the scenes that set up these app companies to get control of us to throttle us down to make our lives just mediocre and com communistic you know like everyone wins everyone has a, a pittance of, of uh, money that you live off of and you can barely pay you know what what the hell is that oh we're independent contractors we, we have a business oh so we can't prosper we can't right see Pedro and all these other channels will tell you oh you could go out and make your dreams come true everything's great you know you can make as much money as you want that's not true folks anymore and people are waking up and people are realizing that that you can't make uh, <clears throat> ends meet with even just one app and even with multi-apping it's tough because I mean yes you have a better chance and you do increase your money a little bit but what happens when all the apps are all in on the same the same uh, tomfoolery in other words they're all they're all playing they're all playing this different instruments but playing the same tune to the to the new world order and look that up if you don't know what the new world order is folks right world economic forum <clears throat> klaus schwab uh, i'm going to say this name backwards gil bates g i l l b a t e s wink wink <laughs> Think about what that is in the opposite. I said Gil Bates. But what is, what is it in the opposite? Look that guy up. That's psychopath. These people are all psychos <clears throat> that are running. And these aren't even elected officials, folks. These are people that just got put in positions, right? And the UN runs everything. But they run these companies too, folks, behind the scenes. People, people from that sector have been put in place. Dara Kashishahi is one of them, but he's a small puppet. He's just a figurehead for, for, for them, right? But they have many snakes in the background running the show. Same thing with DoorDash. Tony Shu, he's a sellout. His whole team, are you kidding me? These people, I mean, you know, it goes back to the old, the old uh, Bible, uh, Bible passage. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world but lose his soul? And a lot of these people, they're stealing, they're becoming rich, right? It's all short-lived because when Jesus gets a hold of them, they're assured a hot future, <laughs> unfortunately, for them. Unless they change and repent. Um, anyways... Wanted to just throw some of that stuff out there, keep it uh, fresh in your mind, because those things are important, folks. If you if you if you deny what I'm telling you, or you just throw it on the side, ah, that's full of crap. You're gonna see as it gets. We go on and on, months and years in, if we even have that. A lot of crazy stuff may happen. I, I, we gotta pray against that too. <laughs> like I don't even want to get into those subjects here, but. Whatever short time you have, my friends, make sure you make it worth your while. You're doing the right thing. You have a clean heart. You do it. You know. You're not trying to walk and step all over everyone to do it. You know what I mean? Just ask God and be humble. Say, geez, you know, please provide for my family. You know, the things I need to pay, and He He will help you. But if you're going to be greedy, be like a top dasher type person. And all you think about is yourself and you don't care about other people. Because your feed, if you're a top dasher, you're feeding into the evil that's going on. You are. <clears throat> if you just declined those orders, if every one of us declined the two, three, four, even five dollar orders that come through, it would change the entire gig community. It would. They they would because the companies still want to make money on us, but they would have to change their model. If no one intercepts trying to change their model, which is illegal what they're doing, 
then nothing will change. It'll just get worse because they're like, oh, these people love being slaves. Let's give them some more slavery. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And only the very few sellouts, top dashes, will make good money because they're selling out. They're sell Essentially, to, to be honest, what they're really doing is selling their soul to Lucifer, to the devil. It, it goes to this. What does it profit? A man to gain the whole world and lose his soul. And that means woman, too, by the way. Just because they they say men, man, it means women. If you're a woman and you're selling out, then you lose, too. Period. All right, folks. It's As you can see, it's real slow here. I'm not getting anything. There's all these hot zones and stuff, but I'm not even going to try to go after them because it's ridiculous. Sitting in a hot zone means nothing. I, I was in a zone yesterday for two hours didn't get one one order coming through. They keep those zones going because they want people over there in case something does come in. I, I'm, I'm, I'm now learning that just because there's a hot zone doesn't mean it's busy, you know. I'm telling you, they set these hot zones up, folks, to send you over there so they can cover their ass. So, so they, you know what I mean? They want people in those zones. Make your own hot zone. <laughs> you know, stop wasting your gas. Sit around somewhere else in, in you know because they're not going to throw you thing they'll throw you a couple but it'll be what three four all the pittances <laughs> it's crazy folks all right well thanks for listening to uh this morning's video i'll try to make one later on today and let you know how i did i'm gonna i mean i'm gonna stay on from i've been on since eight i'm gonna stay on till two o'clock or a quarter or two, and then I'm going to take a break till four. So it'll be interesting to see what I make. All right, I'll catch you guys and gals on the next one. Take care.